Okay guys, the first thing you want to do is take your memory card and plug it into here, okay, like so. As you can see, it's spring-loaded, so we're just going to slap it in there like that, okay? Great, awesome. Then you want to open up this little part here on the back, like so, and you want to put one of your ribbons in, either the small ribbon or the big one that you have. I'm, just, I'm using a small one right now. You want to put it in with the blue side facing upwards. So basically when you do it, it'll be like this. So basically you, you just slide this in. Uh oh. Slide that in like so. And then you lock it down. Bam, it's on there. You can pull on it to see how tight it is. It ain't coming out. Um, next, you want to put the case on, on it that comes with it. See the 360? I pre-taped it because... Uh, of, of the slots and stuff because it comes out a lot so I had already I, I pre did that so what I'm gonna do is just basically slab the case onto it so you can see me do that like so bam done then I lock the tape down on it but yeah, case is there and it's ready to go, as you can see. Bam. Now, first thing you want to do is grab this here part. You need you need this. Use the back side with the L shape on it. You're gonna lock that into here like so. Bam. Once you do that, okay. Then you want to get the little power cable that comes with it, okay. And you want to put that right here on the top one make sure you slap them in the proper way okay like so bam in there done right now we're gonna go to the drive part of it now <clears throat> let me put this over so you guys can see what I'm doing okay so now what I'm gonna do is I have my drive disconnected already yeah. So my driver's already disconnected. So what I'm gonna do now is put these two, the power and the and the side of cable, onto here. Onto here and there. You can do it either, either way you want. Um, I like to put this part on first because it's harder, and then slide that one in there. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Line it up right. Bam, slide it in there like so. Then slide the side of cable part in there. Now this one's a little tricky because you have to put this one in upside down. <clears throat> but basically it's like that. It's in there, it's ready to go. Take both parts, slide them through the back like so. And then connect them to your drive. One in, then you get this one here two in. Bam. Now you slap the drive back in there like so. We're done. We're cooking with fire. Okay. So now what you want to do is take this part and slide it through one of the USB ports in the back. Doesn't matter. Whichever one you want. Just get it through there. Like that. Then you can push this here down and lock it. Let me, let me make sure I get it locked down underneath this here. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. It's not going. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now that's locked down in the back. This part's hanging out. Now with this part, you want to put it into here. But you want this part, to, you want the USB part facing down and then you want the blue part facing up to go into here. So, blue part facing up, USB facing down, and put it in the hole. It should slide right in there with no problems. You can pull on it to make sure it's secure, it's in there. Then you want to just lock this into the back of the USB on the back. Bam! You are done. Now you can close it up and do everything you need to do. But first, 
we want to do some checks to make sure everything is okay. So what you want to do now is plug your power cord back in. Okay. Plug your power cord back in. And is make sure that you can eject your tray. Okay, so that that worked proper. So just close it back. That's good. Cut it off if you like. Now the next thing you want to do is hook this up. Okay, this is your this is your key component. Now you want to take the uh, micro USB that came with it. Plug the the micro part up into here, like so. Take this part and plug it into the back of the USB dong, as you can see. Zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a look at it. There we go, right there. So you're going to plug that up, like so. And then you're going to see it come on. It's going to stay illuminated for a while. So what you're going to do is cut the power to the 360 on. And then see what if it loads up. So we're going to watch it for a second to see if it loads. Now as soon as you plug it up, it should start to update. Okay, mine's not going to update right now because I had already updated it or whatever. I put the information on there. So it's already good. But when you do yours, it's going to update automatically. So let it finish doing what it's doing, updating. Then it's going to tell you to reset the Xbox. When, once you're ready to reset it, just reset it, close it off. And then put your case back on and you're good to go. And next I'll show you how to set up your hard drive to have games on there. To put it on here. Mine's the one that I have is partitioned into three different drives. I gotta wait till everything low because I have a two terabyte. So okay, here we go. Now these are all three of mine's right here. Okay, and as you can see. I have it partitioned off to just a regular drive, uh, all my media, and then just for the Xbox 360. So we're going to close these ones out. Hit start, uh, computer. Just so I want you guys to take a look at this and so you can see how I did it. So there you have it right there. That's my first drive, that's my media, which is 825 gigs for straight media. This one here, that's just a regular drive. I haven't formatted it or anything, that's, I just got a lot of backups to my computer on there. And this is my Xbox 360 drive. It has 251 gigabytes, and right now it's 189 free. So what you want to do is, once your drive is plugged in, and after you partition it, you want to figure out how much space you want to use for the 360. 250 gigs is good. I mean, unless you're going to download a shitload of games. So, what you want to do is go to this one, and you want to hit Format. Okay? Now, when it comes up there, you want to make sure that your, fo your format says right there. NTFS. This is what you want to format it to. And then you want to give it a, a volume name. Quick format and then hit start and it'll format. I'm not going to format because you, of course, you know I already got it done. Okay, guys? So once you do that and it's finished, then all you do is simply just open it up. And then this is the key part here. Those same two root files, that root file, that image file, and that uh, key file that you downloaded earlier, if you put that on the hard drive, you can boot your games directly from the hard drive and not even use the illuminator that comes with it. But you definitely got to have a folder in there on the root of the hard drive called games. Zoom out so you can see that. Games. You see that? So you got games, the root, the image, and the key file. Now what it is going to do, it's going to update your system again. But it's going to update it so that it tells the illuminator that you want to go to 
ISO mode. And when it goes to ISO mode, you bypass everything else and load the games directly off the screen and not the little keypad thing. Okay, so now after you go to games, you just open up your games folder. Like so, and as you can see, these are the folders that I have. And then let's see Assassin's Creed Revelation. And there you have it. See that? Got Assassin's Creed and then the iOS the ISO file, the image file basically. So just drag and drop your files there, wherever you get them from. And then pretty much your hard drive is set up and ready to go. So now we're going to go to the Xbox, and I'll show you the rest from there.